I always travel with my assistant and friend, Mohammed. <laughs> they used to ride elephants. Maybe that explains this platform. Hello. Hello. Very nice to have you in Wakan. Nice to meet you. Hello. I'm Nicola. Thank you for welcoming us. Alice was uh, completed in 1907. Right. And it's been done in stages. So if, if you see that building right. there, that's the Janana. That's uh -huh. traditionally where the women stayed. Okay. Uh, the the wives and the daughters of the family. So here, it's so this is the women's house, so this big one. Yes. Okay. And the palace was mainly for the okay. the, the ruler and his sons. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, it's all, uh, the so these are your grandfather's trophies. Father, on father. Yes, they've been shot by my father, uh, by my grandfather and shot all over the world. My great-grandfather came to the throne as a minor. The British at that stage had put uh, an agent here to make sure that he learned the, the ropes of administration. When he came onto the throne um, and when he, uh, by the time independence happened in those 50, 60 years, he had completely changed the look of Akhanir. Britain at that stage was a very advanced empire and if a ruler of, uh, in India was um, clever, clever enough to take advantage of it, it yes, it helped uh, both. When my gra great-grandfather built this palace, he wanted it to be kind of a Vakanir has arrived. Uh, he has put Vakanir on the map. He had got the best architects he could have at that point of time to do um, a fusion of architecture, if I can call it that. You know? You've got the Gothic arches, you've got the Roman columns, you got a lot of Indian design. Unfortunately, we had this earthquake damage uh, in 2001, uh, which has shaken up the top of the palace. Uh, and there is a dial on one side. If you have noticed, it has stopped at uh, 10 to 9, because 10 to 9, 26 Jan 2001, is when the earthquake hit. So the summer palace uh, was uh, was a kind of a, uh, you know a summer getaway place, and uh, when we get there, you'll see we've got a, a very unique step well. It's a kind of a very naturally cooling kind of an environment to be spending your summers, and in this part of the country, we can go up to 47, 48 degrees. In a setting like this, you need to use quite simple effects. It produces a lot of plastic stress, so then you need to confine the story to this scene. But it's really beautiful and very powerful. There are so many amazing places in this palace. It'll be hard to choose locations for my photos. Imagine an Indian wearing a sari in the water. That would be beautiful. The saris are big. We could use one or two to create an archetype in the photo with the fabrics in the water. That's really beautiful. I can't see myself asking the mistress of the house to don a sari and slip into the water. I don't know, maybe. I think it's beautiful, the pool with the feminine aspect and the perfect reflection. Some really beautiful elements to work with. The women will represent India, which is unchanging, immutable, and while the men do their own thing. Is this the garage? It's pretty masculine. Perfect for a diptych with a male photo in the garage and a female photo in the pool. If we could have the beautiful black car in the centre, with the dogs, highlighting the British side a little, then stop the clock, that would really give it an old-time feel. It will also show the influence of British settlers on the Maharajas. Let's just say it's more suggestive than the classic photo with the castle in the background. Maybe we can produce something that's a little more fun. That's what we'll do. This is so authentic. There's always loads of stuff in storerooms. Humans surround themselves with a mountain of objects, so I always find what I need. Oh, 
Ah, this is perfect for the center of the clock. The mirrors I found in the storeroom have given me an idea about how to play with the reflection of the water in the pool. Excellent. The head looks like a big dog. That's good. Good. The burgers or fort were more the norm before the Brits came. But after the British came in and after peace was brokered between the warring states, then the natural evolution to palaces came about. Palaces, of course, are more about grandeur, but not ideally suited for wartime. Uh, and palaces, as you know, came much later. For example, our palace was built in 1907. So the vast majority of the palaces in, um, at least in Gujarat, would have been towards the last 70, 80 years before independence. That's my great grandfather, the person who really put Wakhanet on the map, Amarsinji Bapu. Someone in my generation can never even imagine uh, the power, the uh, the responsibility, uh, you know, the kind of things that uh, a Maharaja of that stage, uh, of, in those days before independence, would have to do. I feel it's my responsibility, as it's been for 16 generations in Wakhanet, to do what I can for, for the town and for the former state. In independent India, the only way um, I really could do something for Wakhanet is to get elected um, and to uh, you know, join politics, get elected and do, do something good for, for the area. You can cut there. That's your end. Okay. Okay, Jessica, let it go. The thing is, the camera needs to be here, and you have to be there. <laughs> Like this? That's it. Beautiful. A little higher? Higher? Excellent. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is this the middle? Yes. Oh, wow. So here you are in the swimming pool. Afterwards, I'll use Photoshop to remove the diving board and just keep the reflection in the mirror, which will float over the water. It makes for a pretty simple, clean photo with the feminine element that I wanted. It's all wood and fabric, very fragile, ready to collapse after the earthquake. It's a real boy's dream here. Look at me. Good. Perfect. Good. And the dog? That's it. Great. Great. Super. That's good.
Which is, it's not bad. After I can correct the hat with Photoshop. If we put... Maybe it's too small. No? Here, he must be like that. Here, with the dog. It goes well with the mercury. Very good. They look really beautiful there. Good boys. No, that's wrong. Yes, my big dog. He has a huge tongue. Good boy. Hey, doggy. Perfect. For me, this image perfectly expresses the way of life of the Maharaja generations during the colonial period, with the old cars and the sense of nostalgia captured in the image of the broken clock 